Um, good morning, everyone. I'm Sun. She's Lan, and she's Ling, and we're Group One. Uh, today we're going to be talking about disabled-friendly society. Now let's take a look at some of As you can see, number one, we have definition of disabled. Number two, challenges of disabled uh, people. Number three, uh, disability-friendly society. Number four, disabled people statuses in Vietnam. Number five. Uh, positive outcomes. Now, number one, what does disabled mean? Disabled mean when a person has a physical or mental condition that limits their movements, senses, or activities. Number two, what are the challenges and barriers that disabled people have to face? They often face discrimination from normal people because of their appearance and their disability, and many more reasons too. They would usually have many difficulties in their life because, uh, well, actually, you know, walking, like working, and social activities, and so on. Because of their difference, they usually get uh, bullied and isolated from people, and some government doesn't even support them. Now on to our third point. What is a disability-friendly society and how can we make it friendlier? So, a disability-friendly society is where everybody helps each other, disabled or not, and no bullying ever happens here. So, how can we make the society disability-friendlier? Well, we can have posters to raise more awareness and stop the discrimination. Although it might seem very simple, it's actually very effective. Secondly, we should build more disability help centers that can help disabled people achieve their dreams, such as playing chess, drawing, painting, or playing music. And third, we should have means of transports that are only for the disabled, as they can't move around well as normal people. And fourth, we should raise more money for charity to help them. Now on to our fourth point, disabled people's statuses in Vietnam. Although disabled people's statuses in Vietnam are not high, but, but Vietnam still helps them and still respects them, but there are still drawbacks in our disability-friendly society. So how can we make our country friendlier to disabled people? Well, firstly, we should add tactile paving to help blind people know that they are near the road. Otherwise, they might still go onto the road and they might get hit. Secondly, the government should give guide dogs to the disabled to help them with daily life activities. And third, disabled people should get medical help for free. Okay, so next I will give you some positive outcomes of a disability family society. Firstly, the disabled people who get their favorite jobs have their own income and don't have to rely on the government anymore. This will help them to become more confident of themselves and like, don't consider themselves as just like an economic problem in the society. Also, Disabled people can dare to show their talents. Actually, both disabled people and normal people are equally talented, but disabled people tend to hide them away because of their difference. So if we have a disability-friendly society, they will have a chance to show their talents more. Just like the man is did in this picture, he used his mouth to draw a lot of beautiful paintings. Not only disabled people benefit from a disability family society, but also normal people. They can learn how to love and to be sympathetic. Also, many people, especially young people, can be inspired by these hardworking disabled people and can maybe learn from them some valuable characteristics just like determination of confidence and willingness to face with difficulties. 
And finally, I will build an example of a disabled people, uh, person who overcame their problems. That is a Vietnamese victim of Agent Orange. It's very famous, and he come over. He overcame his problem of having his hand paralyzed. And he is now a renowned teacher and writer. He has wrote a lot of famous books, just like give inspiration for young people. So, in conclusion, I want to emphasize that we should respect and encourage disabled people in our life in order to be a friendly society for both normal and disabled people as well. <coughs> and that is the end of our presentation. I have hope that you have learned something from it. Thank you for listening to us. Um, you mentioned that you would like to, uh, in order to help to build a dis disability friendly uh, society, you would like to build transport just for disabled people, right? Um, but there are issues that come with that plan, like plan funding, infrastructure planning. Is there an alternative that you can use the current means of transportation, but um, make it more disability friendly? Well, um, we can have um, maybe ramps to that leads to the bus or the car or the maybe motorbike if they need it, uh, so that they can transport everywhere um, easier. Or maybe we can have a lane that is only for the disabled, so that uh, in their wheelchairs they can uh, go to everywhere. Uh, I think what she means when she said that the means of transport that only for disabled people, then it's just like about when in a place that you know Harry had like a lot of Agent Orange victim. So we should have the trans means of transport only for disabled people. But in the daily life, because you know most of them go to the hospital or something like that. So yeah, it is just necessary to have means of transport only for them in the in the place that have a lot of them. <laughs> or otherwise, we can build you know maybe the ladder only for them or something like that in the means of transport. I'm sorry because of the time, they make a chance to have one question for groups, so I hope you understand.